What's going on, guys, and welcome to episode four of this Chicago White Sox Pitcher Road to the Show series. Yes, we are back with the Pitcher series, and as you can see, we are not in Double A anymore. We have advanced to the Triple A level, and we are in Charlotte playing for the Charlotte Knights. So let's go ahead and change up my equipment as you as i said in the very first episode that uh wrong button sorry uh i would change my equipment as i see saw fit and let's just go ahead and change just the glove that's all i'm going to change uh glove and instead of having that black and red i am going to turn it to they have a gold Neon yellow. No, don't like that color. A yellow. So anywhere I see uh, red, I am changing it to yellow. Just to make it a little more like the new colors. Because we did change colors to red or to black and gold. So I will save those changes. And as we head into the next episode we are going to be playing the durham bulls i believe which are the triple a affiliate of again i might be mistaking but i'm pretty sure that it's of the tampa bay rays uh so that's going to be fun again we are in the we will get a cutscene here Justin, this is John Kent well. of eight or nine eight nine Sports Management. We are big fans of your potential, and we see, like, and we'd like to help you achieve your goals. From the ranks of hundreds of miles. How can you do that? Most importantly, we have a relationship with the front office of the White Sox and with that of every other team too. When you dis have a demand or a contract to negotiate we will see that it is what you want Determine makes sense prospects will be those your high school coach has been advising you right we actually spoke briefly just after you were drafted would you be okay if you if i gave him a call tomorrow good idea i'll talk it over with him okay right away we will do that so cutscene that you guys actually didn't get to see in the Kansas City one because it is a multiple episode cutscene, I believe. As since I did just get called up recently, I have not made many friends on the team yet, so let's go ahead and do that. It's a very cutscene galore start to this episode. But what else would you expect after not this playing it for almost a month now? A Justin, I spoke with... Oh. Attention. This is the coach. Justin, I spoke with John Kent of 989 Sports Management. He made a good pitch. And in fact, is I do think... And the fact is, I do think that it's time... When you need more from a representative than I can offer. But what about, what do we know about this guy and his company? 989 Sports is a very reputable firm. And the fact that John reached out to you personally tells us something about what he thinks of you and your potential. What do you think, coach? You know I want to mess around with you, with your future, Justin. I vetted this company and I think they are a great fit for you. If you just feel like you're ready, let's do it. Thanks so much for taking me this far, Coach. I'll tell him that you're in, and it's been such a pleasure helping you bring you along to this point, Justin. I can't wait to see all you're going to do in this game. So I'm taking on an agent, and we are playing the Durham Bulls. As you can see, in the last two games... Uh, in double A, I was a reliever. They switched me from a starter to a reliever. And we were the closer. And then I got switched back over to the starting role. And then I got called up. Before I could even do that cutscene in double A. 
So that is in. another thing Action. for us. So let's just go ahead and jump into this game with the first pitch, the first pitch of my second start in Triple A. Down and away, not a good start. That cutter is hammered to deep left center, or right center, I'm sorry, but it is caught by the center fielder. Thank you, my good friend. So the Durham Bulls is our opponent today. Our very first opponent was the Gwinnett Stripers. Yes, he is barking for no reason. I don't know why. Let's see if it I had today. just <laughs> taken him out. I think degrees, that he has pitch. his ego Either is way. being a little deflated because he has not been in a video in quite some and time, foul. and his ego needs stroked like that. For those of you that don't know, this is and King. He is a very good doggo. Grumpy at times. But <laughs> he really just did that. Uh, oh, wow, that's staying in. Uh, as that one is hit to the left fielder, he is just being extra needy today so for whatever now, reason i don't know why <laughs> and when he gets needy he does this <laughs> i don't know what's going on i really don't so let's just get back into this game he's looking at me like i need things i don't know what <laughs> so he's just gonna Park his took us right above the box. For those, for those that haven't seen or that don't know, I record on a separate emulator. I have a box that records all the gameplay. <laughs> it's just really funny because right on top of the box. <laughs> he just went to sleep. Doesn't get the zone. Oh. I had a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be. Uh, but my capture card is an external capture card uh, where I don't need it plugged into my computer system. I just need a thumb drive to go into it, and that's what I've been using for that. And right now he is laying right on top of the capture card, so he is not making the, today very, very easy on me because he's also on my cord for the gameplay. Uh, as I am quickly one and two on this batter. I think I've been one and two on all the batters so far in this game. Uh, I just lost the last one because of my laughing fit. And this one is bugging me with all the foul balls that he has. But I get a nice strikeout. Look it. To end the first inning. That was a long first inning. 18 pitches worth. And again, it is something that I have to work on is my pitch count and stamina. Uh, but something I'm definitely willing to do as I'm quickly up 0-2 on this guy. And that curveball just hung a little bit, so let's go fastball. Down and away. He clobbers that. Crap. Well, that's... Second ever triple-A game, and that, that happened. So, again, up 0-2 on him. Just... 
bad luck there as I throw back to back fastballs. First try. That curve, I need to work on getting that curve back down a little bit more. Because as soon as I'm able to handle that curveball, I'll either get that. Which was a nice little ground out, or I'm able to get the strikeout. But so far, I'm hoping that Charlotte can give me some run support as that one is clobbered to center field for a base hit, dropping just right in front of the center fielder. Uh, so they have two hits on the inning after not getting a hit at all in the first. Uh, Still only one out, so it's not dire, but they do have one run in. That curveball misses low. Fastball high and in. That's popped up out of play or uh, in foul territory, but in play. In able to get it for the... Wow, English, uh, able the third ba the third baseman is able to get it. That's what I was trying to say the first time around. As that ball's in the dirt, but the runner wisely stays at first. That one just misses low for ball two. So I'm down 0 3 or 3 0 on this guy. So let's just throw a fastball down the gut. And let's throw another fastball down the gut. Work it back to a 3-2 count. And one more time. Aw, poo. Spoil my fastball. So cutter, up and away. Not getting that there, so... Risking the walk, but I get the strikeout instead. For the second strikeout on the day. Uh, so, two strikeouts so far, one swing, and that one's charged, just foul. And he has woken up from his little slumber. This will wind up foul, still 0-2. And he's mad that he's woken up from his little slumber. As that one just gets past the diving second baseman. I was hoping to have a quick inning here, but I guess that's not to be as that one misses. How does that miss? How? I want to know, umpire, how in the world is that a ball? Is that a double play? No. For second baseman can't get to it. And now we have runners on first and second with nobody out. Oh, this is turning into a nightmare situation. Let's just try to refocus. Nobody out. Let's try to grab a ground ball here. That's that curve misses. Fastball up and in. That one is drilled far, but it is foul. You little son of a gun. You want to throw your bat down, act like you're Javi Baez after hitting a monster home run. Well, two can play at this game. Curveball down. Mm. Hey then. Fastball. Ground ball. Just foul. Okay. Uh, fastball. Missing and now the bases are loaded with nobody out. Okay. Crunch time here, people. Uh, need a strikeout. A ground out will not do because still have no runs on the board for us. I'm up 0-2 on him. Let's go curve low and in. Missing. Oh, I missed that bad. Curveball low and in again. Got that one, but he was able to foul it off. Fastball up and in. That instead up and out. Cutter. Launched. 
trouble. That's going to be a sack fly. We do get the first out in the inning. And now the double play is in order, but at what cost, really, because they get another run. And I'm at 59 pitches in this game so far. I went six innings in the first start, and here we are only in the third, and I'm averaging about, as that's a double play ball, four to six to three to end the inning. So we do get out of it. I am at 61 pitches, however, so let's see how much longer they keep me in. Uh, but thankfully, my offense uh, got two runs to tie it up. And my right fielder just misses a nice starting catch. So it's a base hit for him. But luckily, when he dove, how? Seriously, how? I'm sorry, but how is that a ball? As that curve, I missed my spot, but he swung and missed anyway. Uh, as I was saying before, that is another. Oh, that's E4. Yeah, E4. As hold on a second. And that'll bring up Nick Shufo. Over one after a pop out in foul territory his first time through. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down. Excuse me. I sneeze. And thus the result was a terrible pop up. Uh, as I was going to say before, at least that uh, diving stop did not cost us more than a base hit. As that one is hit. Fair. I'm um, calls that fair two runs. At least one run's going to score. I guess there's not much foul territory down that left field line. And it results in an RBI double for the Durham Bulls. And my pitch count continues to be an issue in this game. We are only in the fourth inning, and I have not recorded an out. Hello. Um... Is part of the reason why he couldn't get on top of that one. Is that a ground ball five and a good throw gets him to three? I don't know why we didn't try to turn two there as the runner. Yeah, I don't know. As the runner advances from first to second, we could have had two, but possibly giving up the run. I don't know. I still taking the two outs. If that meant that, because I apologize to you guys. He is never normally this chatty, but for what? I don't know what he wants. He just wants attention. Like I said, he. Strike two is the fastball that's let go. He's got a chance to <laughs> this is what he does from time to time. Is that a ground ball? I don't know what happened there, why I was on the ground. I guess I hit the diving button as I was showing some love to the dog. And that's going to do it for me in this game. Uh, not a great performance. We lose the game. Uh, my challenge was to throw 100 pitches. I didn't hit that. Uh, I gave up three runs, all of them earned, and we lose the game 4-2. to two. Uh, I issued two walks, three strikeouts, three earned runs, and gave up six hits in that game. Uh, not how I wanted to reintroduce this series, but it is what it is. Uh, 52 pitches, 24 balls, so that was not terrible. Uh, I just wanted to knock down my earned runs, and that didn't happen in this game. Anyway, guys, in the next video, we will possibly... No, we won't. In the next video, we because I pitch here, remember, it's a rotation. Uh, I am 0-1 with a 4.5 ERA and 10 innings pitched. Six strikeouts, a whip of 1.2. I'll miss the Indianapolis Indians series. 
Uh, and we will be playing uh, against the Toledo Mud Hens, I believe. Uh, I believe we'll play June 2nd against the Toledo Mud Hens. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in that video. Until next time, guys. Peace.